Hi, this is a video just to introduce the multi-analyte testing from the Sense It All platform. So I'll go quite quickly, but what I am describing is the fact that the Sense It All platform is a multi-analyte um, system. So these QR codes that have just popped up will become significant um, later on. You'll be able to um, install the app and test these QR codes yourself. And that will demonstrate to you that actually this system is not single analyte. It actually can do um, several analytes um, as well. So let me talk. So first of all, let me talk about the workflow that we have here then. So um, in the video, we've got the um, engineer actually showing um, the unit in her hand and the Sensi All platform that is. I think I'll just reach for mine as well and just demonstrate that. So this is the unit. It's um, fairly small. You can see it in the shape of my hand or in my hand here rather. Um, but let me talk about the workflow. So the workflow is this, that we have a, um, a sensor and for each sensor there is a QR code. So this will um, be something that will also pop up later on as well. Um, but these are a strip of sensors and I know it's a small little image, but there's actually a QR code um, on the edge here, which tells the meter what actual analyte we are detecting at the moment but we will also talk about that multi-analyte um, mode as well so we have a sense i'm oh, sorry we have the meter um we have sensors we have qr codes so the meter works with um android devices um, with ios devices and you'll be able to install these apps on your phone um shortly but we've here sort of assumed that we've installed the app now at this point the app needs um, to be told, and in fact, the, the engineer is even doing it here now, um, has to be told what analyte are we trying to detect at this moment. Um, so it actually will use the QR code. So the, um, obviously most uh, modern phones have a camera on them. We can scan the QR code. You don't have to keep on scanning QR codes, by the way. If you're only ever testing for one particular analyte, it will always remember the last um, QR code um, that was scanned. And it will also clearly say on the app as well, you know, what analyte it, or what mode it's actually in at that moment. So anyway, we have a smart device um, that has the app on it. It scans a QR code. Um, now the sensor goes onto the meter and the sample goes onto the sensor, um, at which point the app is able to tell the meter to run the assay. The meter gives the data back to the app on the smart device and the data actually also gets secured in the cloud. I will talk about this cloud system in a minute, but this is a very modern system that even though we will deliver, or we do deliver a concentration of analyte on the phone, um, it's also the raw data is actually stored in the cloud. So this is really useful in, um, so we, for example, if we're supporting clients in India or in California, it's really easy because they will get the result on the phone but we're also able to actually interrogate the raw signal later on. So, you know, if there's any kind of um, disagreement or misunderstandings or, um, you know, we need to confirm that what we're saying is, I want to say true, then actually we've always got the raw signal as well. So this is quite unusual. This is a very sort of 2024 device that actually, you know, it's driven off a smart device. It's very um, solid state, very robust um, little device. They will get a result there and then on their phone but actually there's also a backup on the cloud of the entire raw signal, not just a number. Um, and it also, because of the cloud system, we can actually share it with kind of, let's say experts as well, who can also look at the raw signal as well. But there's a very user, very easy user experience where the user just gets the result on the phone. But the fact is that um, you can get a sort of an advanced experience as well by logging into the cloud um, and seeing the raw signal as well, if you want to kind of interrogate that. Um, it's also got an API on the cloud as well. So if you want to take the data off to some other um, cloud system, this application program interface allows that to happen as well. So for every analyte, there's a particular um, sensor. So again, this is the row of sensors. The sensors have a QR code um, actually on the packaging here that will tell um, the app what kind of sensor it is. We do have buffers. So often um, the sample we're dealing with can often be um, actual powders. Um, so sometimes we have to kind of, you know, dissolve those powders up. Um, and there's a QR code, as I say, is it comes with the sensors. So these are the kind of variables. And what I mean by variables is for every analyte, there's a sensor, there's a buffer, there may be a buffer rather, if it's a solid sample, and there's a QR code. The things that stay consistent is the meter. So this is a multi-analyte system because actually you can run many sensors 
and interrogate many analytes of the same device. And the workflow also stays constant as well. And by that, I mean, Meter talks to App, App drives Meter, Meter gives data back to App, App sends data to Cloud, um, data is stored on Cloud and result is given on smartphone. That all stays consistent. There's just, for every analyte, there may be a different sensor. If it's a solid analyte, a different um, buffer and a QR code to tell the meter actually what analyte it's um, trying to detect at the time. Um, the hardware, as I say, is very elegant and very um, simple. It's got some nice features about it that the fact is, you know, you're not kind of um, fiddling around with the sensors. There's a sensor in that particular one. I'm just taking it out now. The engineer in the um, is showing you um, that she's connecting it via um, her smartphone. And then in the um, last video down here, we're actually showing that you can go from analyte to analyte by um, scanning QR codes. As I say, you don't have to keep on scanning QR codes. Um, if you're only ever testing one particular analyte, um, you can just stay on that. And all of that is being delivered in this very um, nice little piece of hardware. If you look in the video at the moment, you can see I've actually just, um, I wanna say pulled it apart. You know, so there's a, you know, this, this instrument is completely solid state, it's unlike, most analytical systems that you'll come across. And, you know, for some reason, if there's a kind of, you know, something gets spilt on here, don't worry, we can just pull it apart. Um, it clicks back in because it's um, got magnets. Um, so it is very easy to, there is no maintenance. People ask us questions about calibration and etc. We come from a world of point of care diagnostics or point of need diagnostics. So in-field calibration is not something that we, um, we really think about um, because I come from the glucose strip world. This is just an experiment. So if you're watching this on your smart device, maybe watch this later on on a screen, because I would like you to um, scan this QR code, because this QR code will take you to the um, Google Play Store and it will install the app actually on your phone. I realize I actually do have it on my phone as well. Now, if you're on an iOS system, you can also um, scan the app um, from your um, from your iOS um, device as well. So when you do that, whether you've scanned the um, QR code for the um, Play Store or whether you've scanned the QR code um, for the App Store, it will, um, it what, what it's also doing as well, which is really kind of cool, and I realize that I've got the app now running on my um, phone, it's actually looking for QR codes at the moment. So once you've got that installed, what it's also gonna do is set up an account in the cloud called Julie. I realize that I will put a series of links underneath this video so that you can actually go off and find these things. But So this is a system that will install the app on your phone. When you log in, it will also create you an account in the cloud as well called Julie, because the, the app and the cloud are kind of synchronous. They're working um, with one another. I'm not gonna tell you what these QR codes are for, um, but what I would like you to do is um, is actually scan them, get the code, get the um, software installed on your phone, and then you can scan these codes. And it will, it, what it will demonstrate to you is this multi-analyte um, system that every time we add a new analyte or a new assay, we're able to generate a QR code, and you can sort of effortlessly. In fact, I can even just scan that off my phone now. Yeah, and I've just scanned it, and I've just um, test, just put a um, new analyte on my phone. Um, so I've just put four up there to give you a kind of sense of, this is a multi-analyte system. There's um, an app called the Sensi All app, which you can get off the Play Store or you can get off the App Store. Once that's installed, you can then scan these QR codes and you can go between analytes um, that way. Um, the reason I've got this um, particular um, video running is to really give you a sense of the sort of scale of things. So everything I've talked about, you know, is actually, get shipped in a, you know, a really kind of a small box. In fact, I've got a box here now. Um, so you can kind of see that, you know, this is a very different type of, I want, don't want to say analytical system, because this is much more of a kind of consumer experience, but um, small little system. Um, it's interesting because we ship this around the world and, you know, whereas manuals can often be quite, you know, daunting and therefore the training can be quite intense. In fact, it is quite simple. Most people get this manual, they open it up, and they just get going. So I'm always, I was always a bit surprised because I thought we would have to do a lot more um, training. So we have a kind of elegant, um, let's say little box. Um, and um, in there you'll get the um, manual. But when you actually start opening up the manual, you realize, you know, it tells you everything that's in the, essentially in the box, which, you know, is 
um, not that much because it's not that complicated. Um, and as it tells you, you know, you can get the app onto your um, smart device using the QR codes. Um, what's really nice about it is actually I realized that there's only one button on the device and that's on and off. And we only put on and off on there because people do like to have a sense of if I turned it on, if I turned it off. So we have put an on off button on there, but it's not a highly complicated um, device. As you can see it all in there now, um, you can see, in fact, there's a sort of, these are the cartridges that are also in the image as well. I, I sort of interchange the word cartridge and sensor, but we kind of call them cartridges because they're easier to handle than um, normal just um, sensors. I'm just taking the system out of the box. Um, now we do some, we do often deal with powders. Um, so we will, um, for powders, we do ship with um, buffers or solutions, let's say. So we put the sort of powder in the solution, shake it up and that um, the active material comes into the buffer and then we can de um, detect it. Um, so I'll just put that in um, as well. And these are the um, sensors and you can see it in the screen now that there's a QR code um, that comes with the sensors and tells the, tells the meter or tells the app rather what the um, s particular sensor is. I just want to say that if you're interested in this kind of um, multi-analyte sensor all platform and um, we do have some webinars um, we do two, we, every month there's a webinar, so if you're watching this post uh, 27th of February, um, just contact us, there'll be a contact us link as well. Um, but we're doing one in the morning, we do one in the morning because that helps people in Asia and Europe attend, we do one in the afternoon because that helps people in um, the Americas, North and South America um, attend as well. So if you've got any questions about Sense It All, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at ZP. Okay, thanks very much.